Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Fresh off a knockout win, we have a man in studio who doesn't have to prove anything to anyone. He's from Odessa and he was on the Ultimate Fighter actually twice. He's made quite a name for himself nationally as a mixed martial artist. So the James Krause is right here and we're just so excited to have you. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Okay, so let's touch base on that last win. You were kind of explaining the difference between a TKO and a knockout. So what happened there? Yeah, uh, it's, I fought last Saturday in uh, in Nebraska and uh, fought for the UFC. It, it's uh, between a knockout and a technical knockout. There's not a huge difference. I think the only difference is like a, the referee stops one of the fights and and the other one, the guy's kind of just done. So uh, mine was considered a technical knockout, but really it's you know the the guy was pretty much done. So I, mean, I think we've got the picture right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it's one of my one of my better moves. I've ended a couple fights like that, so uh, it's one of the one one of the things I look for whenever I fight. Try to try to keep that high danger factor and and be able to end fights. We don't get paid by the uh, by the minute, so I try to get in and out of there as fast as I can. Which makes total sense. Yeah, I think everyone wants to know what draws you into MMA fighting. Well, initially, I think it was uh, I think it was. The, the interest of it, I really like the strategic approach to the game. There's weight classes. I was really small in high school, and I got picked on here and there. So, like, I think I always, I always appreciated the fact that somebody smaller could be able to defend themselves against somebody bigger than them. Mm -hmm. I appreciated the, the weight classes. I appreciated the, the, the approach to it. And I, I showed up one day, and I just kind of fell in love with the sport, and I, I haven't really left since. I've, I pretty much trained five to seven days a week, every week, sometimes two to three times a day. And it's just something I'm really passionate about and I love doing. And it kind of sounds like you've also taken a lot of life lessons from that. Oh, yeah. And has it also helped to change your life? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I come from a, a small town. I mean, we talked about Odessa, Missouri. There's 5,500 people. I, think, I actually think it's gone down since, since I moved away. But, I, I mean, there's just not a lot of opportunity, you know, for, for a kid coming out of Odessa, Missouri. So I think you have to branch off and, and make your own way. So for me, fighting has been, a, has been an avenue for me to mm -hmm. open up to new things, to, you know, try business ventures and, and do different things and really have a chance to, to be successful. Okay, business ventures. Mm -hmm. You actually help train kids here yes. in the metro. So how is that so important? Yeah, we have two locations, one in North Kansas City and uh, one in Lee Summit. Uh, for me, I, the sport of mixed martial arts and just martial arts in general has absolutely changed my life. Uh, more so, you know, financially, mentally, uh, it's, it's shaped and molded the, the person I am. So I, I I think it's important for me to give that back or give kids a chance that maybe don't have that, that opportunity to, uh, to have the same ch uh, chances that I had. So I think martial arts can change, can change kids' lives in terms of not just, not just you know, kicks and punches, but life skills, confidence, mm -hmm. discipline, respect. I've seen it change their grades. I've seen it change their, their home life, their attitude. And, and for me, I think that's the most important thing is, is I want to teach the kids also, I want to teach them punches and kicks, cool, because that's the cool part, right? Mm -hmm. That's why they. That's why the parents sign them up, but the parents keep them there uh, for the lessons that they learn off the mats. Absolutely, so many lessons learned there for kids. You yourself are a father, mm -hmm. and you've got a wife. So, what is their mind like when you're getting ready to go into the octagon? Yeah, I mean, my wife and I got together when I were. I've already been. I was already fighting. I've been mm -hmm. fighting for 12 years. I, we've been together for 10. So, she kind of knew what she was getting into. You know, whenever, uh, whenever we. We have, whenever we got involved with this. So uh, it's, it's tough, you know what I mean? It's, it's mm -hmm. tough, especially whenever you lose. It's never fun watching a loved one get beat up. But I think this is something that you kind of, uh, you just kind of come to accept, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's my life, it's my job, it's what I love doing. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if she quite understands it, but she supports it and that's all that matters. I think that you definitely, she's probably on nerves, but she's also seen you win lots of times, yeah. which is also something to celebrate. So thank you so much, James. Thank you. Thank you.